when the annual economy report by Google, Temasek, and Bain was published in late 2022. Among the most highlighted features was the Philippines. This annual report features the digital economy of Southeast Asia's biggest, thoroughly done suggestive of the fastest growing economies around the world. The Philippines, however, stood out as one of the best digital economies for 2022 and is projected by the same to continue towards 2030. Amongst the best highlights of the report found was the Philippines shared second place with Indonesia in Southeast Asia and was just behind Vietnam in attracting investors over the longer term, around 2025 to 2030. The survey published found that the Philippines is expected to increase its ideal activity by 73% in the slated time frame compared to today. One of the digital economy's gross merchandise value, on the other hand, the Philippines is expected to grow from a $20 billion digital economy in 2022 to over $35 billion by 2025, suggesting a 20% growth every year. At this growth, it will be the second fastest in the region, just behind Vietnam, which is expected to grow 31%. However, what is the key highlight of this report is not from today, until 2025. It is from 2025 until 2030, as the report has stated that the Philippines will sustain its digital economy growth of 20% per year from 2025 to 2030. This will make the Philippines the fastest growing digital economy in Southeast Asia's biggest economies, surpassing Vietnam, which will slow down to 19% per year. This is mostly driven by the huge increase in e-commerce, which by 2025 will grow to over $22 billion, up from where it is today at $14 billion. This is followed by online media, which is expected to grow to $5 billion, up from $3.1 billion today, and then by food and transportation and online travel, which will grow to $4 billion by 2025 or $8 billion together. Part of this report, however, has also highlighted the many challenges that we can see as potential opportunities as to why the Philippines will sustain the fast growth trajectory. First of all, the Philippines as the reported, highlighted along with sources from the World Bank, stated that the unbanked and underbanked percentage of the adult population in the Philippines is over 75%. This is a huge issue and showcases the weak financial system that is not inclusive. This is also the second highest among Southeast Asia's biggest economies, just behind Indonesia, which has 81% of unbanked and underbanked. However, as we suggested earlier, these underdeserved people are going to be the backbone of the growth for the coming decade. You see, as soon as these people find the opportunity to have a financial service, they will contribute to the overall digital economy of the country. Digital banks, for instance, are likely going to be huge winners, and these can be like a Gcash and Maya. On the other hand, health technology as reported is also one of the crucial needs for change. The report highlighted that along with Vietnam and Indonesia, the Philippines has a poor hospital facility rating. With only 1-3 to three hospital beds per 1,000 people, the same report compared that to Japan, which has over 13 beds per 1,000 people. Healthcare accessibility, therefore, is going to be another room for massive growth opportunities. Finally, the last take in this report is that among the winners and in helping contribute to the entire digital economy of the Philippines are small and medium enterprises, sometimes even known in the Philippines as Sorry Sorry. These small stores to medium enterprises are going to be the backbone of growth in the digital economy. As soon as these hundreds of thousands of stores fully adapt, they will push competitive selling to the next level which will help innovate to push through and collectively enable the digital economy to thrive. Unfortunately, however, as suggested, they are still lacking the financial resources related to digital services. Once all these problems are fixed, which may be expected from 2025 to 2030, the Philippines will therefore sustain its growing digital economy and will be the fastest growing in the entire Southeast Asian regions 
biggest economies. Digital financial services, after all, are also estimated to grow to over $123 billion by 2025 in payment gross transaction value by 2030. It is expected that the digital economy of the Philippines will be between 100 to 150 billion US dollars, which is about a quarter to a third of the country's total GDP today. By then, depending on the sustained growth of the Southern Asian nations, it may become the second or third largest competing against Thailand and Vietnam, but will be far behind Indonesia's behemoth of the digital economy, which is by 2030 estimated to be around 220 to 360 billion dollars. But anyway, the Philippines is looking forward to being Southeast Asia's fastest growing digital economy by the end of this decade. What do you think about that? How will this digital economy help change the Philippines? Or do you think that there are still problems that persist in the entire digital economy? Let us know down below.